So now in this video, we come back to the capacitor. This is a uh, simpler circuit though than we looked at before, but we're gonna look at it with an oscilloscope. And we're gonna see a waveform basically like that. So the capacitor, when it's charging through a resistor, this switch will discharge it instantly. The uh, voltage difference between the uh, capacitor and the power supply will determine how much current is flowing. So when it's discharged, you have the full voltage of the power supply, but as it charges, its voltage goes up. There's less voltage difference across the resistor, thus current goes down, and it takes longer for the capacitor to get a higher voltage. So now, building the circuit, as you see here, we'll start with the switch because it's really the least flexible of the components. We have to jump this gap and the way that the pins are, it lines up nicely in the direction that you need to insert it to do so. So I already have this jumper to ground. You can see one side of the switch goes to ground. So I'm just going to put the bottom of the switch to where that jumper is, right there. Pretty straightforward. Again, these boards, they kind of push them out, the switch, but uh, for the most part, it works out pretty well. So, we'll uh, take this resistor here. You can see the other side of the switch goes to VCC, the positive supply. And uh, so, I'm going to use a 1 kilo ohm resistor, 1,000 ohms. This is a 1,000 microfarad capacitor. So microfarad is one millionth, but that's a thousand. So that's one thousandths of a farad. So we'll talk about why that's important coming up in a little bit. Just remember this is one thousandths of a farad. That is one thousand ohms. Makes the uh, timing math easy. So I'm putting the positive side there up to the upper part of the switch and then the negative side I'm going to put to ground to the negative rail. So there is a connection, the resistor to positive rail there, it goes across the switch there. Right now the capacitor is charged. When I press the button, we'll have a direct connection to ground. The capacitor will instantly discharge along that negative rail. So now I got my uh, portable oscilloscope here, low price, and uh, a lot of people sell these DSO shell. The uh, nine volt barrel plug goes in there. There's the power switch and uh, it's ready to be clipped. It's got alligator clips. So I have the voltage to seven volts right there on the power supply because we have eight squares going up. So that will take up most of the screen. Each, uh, vo uh, each division there is one volt and then one second per division. So we'll zoom in a little bit and uh, see that. So I'll just clip directly to the capacitor when I don't have a nice capacitor to clip into. I just do the same thing I do with the power supply there, where I clip to jumpers and then put jumpers. And uh, those jumpers are going to the power rail. But in case, there you can see we are up to 7 volts. So we're not doing too bad right there. We'll zoom in. And there you can see 1 volt per division and then 1 second. Each square is 1 second. Each square is 1 volt. So now I'm going to hit the button. It discharged instantly and there it's charging. But there you can see that curve that I mentioned earlier. So I'll wait a little bit longer, try to pause it right on that line if possible. As I said before, we have a 1000 ohm resistor over here that is charging the one one thousandths of a farad capacitor. So that gives us one, 1000 times one thousandths. And so that's one second. Each second gets us two thirds of the uh, voltage change and so there you can see it's about two-thirds of the way up to seven and then the next second we got two-thirds of what's left the next second about two-thirds of what's left approximately so we consider since it's technically always charging we just consider once we get to the fifth time constant fully charged there you can see that's the point where it's really not changing anymore so we consider that fully charged five time constants. So now actually one more thing before we go. We have uh, seven volts there. The voltage does not matter. It matters how much uh, voltage the capacitor charges to. There you can see the capacitor is discharging. 
because it went back through the resistor the power supply had a lower voltage than the uh, capacitor but uh, when it comes to the timing it does not matter let's go down to a four even four volts right there or even three three might work nice so any case now we will come back and again I didn't change the circuit over here at all we will press the button instantly discharge it and then wait a while for uh, it to fully charge again we consider that five time constants so we're a little to the left of that line there but again you can see that after about one second we got about two-thirds of the way that's why I did three volts and uh, so this is a little to the left so it'd be a little bit lower but in any case it's about two-thirds of the way it's approximate and then about two-thirds more but in any case one two three four five right there there you can see we're at that fully charged point so the voltage only determines the voltage that the capacitor charges to it doesn't influence the timing really so that's uh really about it this is a quick video so i'm not going to go into it in more detail than that but i will pop up some more videos make sure you check those out click the subscribe button and uh, the bell all that good stuff i will see you in the next video